Chief Whip of the outgoing Night Senate, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu, has lamented that Nigeria has not been fair to him despite his contribution to nation building. Kalu, who shared tears during the Senate valedictory session held today at the National Assembly in Abuja, said people he gave transport fares to travel to Lagos are now living in wealth while calling him a thief. The former Abia state governor has thanked the Knight Senate for standing by him during his difficult times, insisting that Nigeria has not been fair to him. I went through one of my best times in life in this Senate and also went through one of my difficult periods. Also, in this Senate, before I came to the Senate, before I came into politics, I can buy anything body can buy. I'm not a thief. Those that put me in prison, no reason they put me in prison. They took over all my businesses and want to kill me. But I survived it. I'm in the Senate with you people. It's not the end to what we have done. It's not the end to United Nigeria. It's not the end to Brother Skipper. But this thing that was I called, we are with me. Vice President Kashim Shatima and the First Lady Senator Olure Mitinubu also attended the valedictory session of the night Senate. Shatima is the outgoing senator for Bonu Central, while President Bola Tinubu's wife represents Lagos Central until the inauguration of the 10th Senate on Tuesday. We bid farewell to this chapter. Let us remember that our journey has just begun. For some of us, new path beckon, and the mantle of leadership passes into fresh hands. To those who will continue this noble calling, I extend my sincerest congratulations and heartfelt, heartfelt wishes. Cherish this honor be sought upon you, for it is a sacred trust, and let the spirit of collaboration guide your every step. Reacco in Shatima's position, the First Lady reminded the incoming legislators of the task of nation building ahead, adding that the current administration needs the wealth of experience of the outgoing lawmakers. And we need to give so much to this nation. This new administration beckons hope for this nation. And anyone who doesn't have hope, you can't really move ahead. This new administration beckons that. And we have to make the necessary sacrifice, which starts with the new 10th Assembly. For me, as a woman of faith, I believe is double grace. Number 10 will give us double grace, and God will sustain us. And I can only wish my colleagues that are here that I can only tell you, see you around. And when we leave this place, we are going to still meet. Some of you I will be consulting for advice. And please don't be bashful. I will need all of you, and I believe that this administration needs your wealth of experience. Earlier, Deputy Senate President Ovie Omwagege initiated the goodwill messages, recalling the last four years of the Night Senate and the landmark pieces of legislation passed. Mr. President, I am satisfied in my conscience that despite the emergence of unique challenges during the life of this Night Senate, including a global pandemic, we have nonetheless played our role creditably as partners in progress with the executive and judicial arms of government. Working calmly with patriotic zeal and sincerity of purpose as statesmen and women, we proactively returned our national budgeting to January to December budget cycle and defied all odds to enact major groundbreaking legislation. For his part, Senate leader Ibrahim Gober noted the significant turnover of lawmakers in the night assembly. And the real problem that we are going to face is the question of reiteration, the turnover. Many of our people are not coming back because 25% only 
will come back to the Senate. And this means quite a lot has to be done by NILS to train our people so as to make sure that we have or we do reinvent legislature for effective national development. The Ninth Senate finally came to an end on Saturday, the 10th of June, with lawmakers from their various constituents presenting their valedictory messages. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.